Hello, it's that time of the week again, and I'm here to invite you to come and join me tonight. Now, I'm going to be talking about something. Actually, I'm going to resume uh, uh, from what we talked about this past Sunday, and it was honored to be chosen. You know, our Lord said something powerful. He said, there were many widows in Israel during the time of Elijah when the drought uh, hit the land and yet the Lord chose none of them and he goes to the hometown ground zero of Baal worship the hometown of Jezebel and he chooses a woman from a place called Zarephath or in the New Testament is called Zarepta this widow woman to feed Elijah and she, uh, some 2,880 years ago, I wonder if she had any idea that she was uh, about to make history because of her servitude to the man of God. Almost 3,000 years, 2,800, almost 3,000 years later, we're talking about this woman. And Jesus brought her up uh, over 870 years after the fact. So uh, what I'm going to talk about tonight, I want to show you that there is a undeniable and obvious connection between servitude and blessings. My friends, you cannot serve the God of the Bible and not be blessed by him. And I want you to know, especially when you serve God in the areas of things that matter. Listen, these are some awesome times in which we're living in. Uh, America is changing. The world is changing. And none of us know where these things are headed. But here's what we know. We know that Jesus is soon to come. And we know that until he comes, he has charged us and said, occupy till I come, and he has promised to be with us. There's a blessing with your name on it. There's a door that the Lord wants to open for you. There's a supernatural miracle. There's a move of God. There's something beyond the ordinary that the Lord has for you. But you won't find it unless you look to and are willing to be a servant. In the Lord's kingdom, a servant in the Lord's army, that you look to servitude to do the will of the Lord. Now, I'm going to talk about it tonight. I'm going to show you. And you servants of God out there, come on out and be blessed.